Hi, I'm Kaiser Lim. I'm one of the pulmonologists and intensivists here at the Mayo Clinic. And I'm talking about an article that we recently wrote for the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. It's a review on the topic of chronic cough. Now, the challenge is that there are so many people who have been coughing for more than eight weeks. And they go around looking for care. And unfortunately, the care plan needs to be very specific regarding how one approaches chronic cough. So the article sheds light and hopefully it will guide clinicians so that patients will have a better outcome. Now, we go through, as usual, the things that you think of. We also give an approach. We discuss what's the most cost-effective way, what are possible strategies that you can use. At the same time, we looked at changes that are coming in the future. Now, it's important for us to understand that chronic cough is a symptom. It begs for a diagnosis. And at the same time, getting a diagnosis is not all that easy because so many things contribute to a cough. Now, if you imagine the cough as nature's way of protecting our respiratory tract, that's how we keep food, mucus, and harmful gases out of our respiratory tract. Now, if we don't do that, we quickly drown and we're unable to breathe. So things that can irritate the voice box and the respiratory tract, I call it the plumbing, they tend to irritate and then they cause a cough. Now, what's coming out of the literature is that there are many things that can cause a person to cough. And for those of you who have a chronic cough, you know that it's a tickling, an urge to cough, and you don't always act on it. Now, there's more understanding of this. We're far from totally uh, knowing what causes what, but there is now a beginning understanding that this urge to cough may be contributing to many of these problems, and that it is in itself something that has to be recognized. When we talk about the urge to cough, it turns out that the body has a way of sensing irritation, like what we, we said about, about clearing it of mucus and food earlier. It turns out that the nervous connection to the brain is very complicated. Now, one of the things that people have done, they've put people inside what we call functional MRI and they make them inhale chili pepper and when the chili pepper triggers this urge to cough you can see signals going from the primitive brain to the other parts of the brain. Now this urge to cough sometimes becomes so strong that every signal that is perceived by your respiratory tract and the voice box becomes a signal for cough. And we are starting to understand that this may be a major driving force in many patients who have chronic cough. So the article talks about this, sheds, a, sheds some light into what have been published, puts some insight into how one translates it into patient care. And hopefully, our patients will benefit. Just remember, not all that coughs is asthma. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.